But um, let's see. What was that? Oh. All right. I almost made it, by the way. Almost. <laughs> I was again. about to ask, it too. Did it land? I'll do it again. All right. <laughs> I got five dollars. He this. Oh, you say you got five dollars bet? I actually made that one. I ain't gonna never know. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. Oh, okay, I mean, if you really want to, uh, <laughs> since you put it that way, since you put it that way, I'm gonna go ahead and night. No, nah, look at me while you do it. Look at me while you do it. Yeah, you missed. I want my five dollars. Damn. <laughs> five dollars. <laughs> Man, you come straight out of a comic. <laughs> uh, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Straight Out of a Comic Book. I'm your host, Will Farrow. And of course, I got my friends with me today. Lark Scene, Young Deuces, and Pierre Steps in the building today. And so on this episode, we are taking it back to phantom fiction again. And this time, we are diving into the world of anime. And since I had anime, that's why I wanted to bring these special guests on because when I think of anime, I can't help but thinking of these people. You've seen them on the TikToks from Cosplay, seen them on the Instagrams from doing these dope reels with all kind of crazy animated effects and everything. And that includes deuces as well. Uh, I felt like I left you out. I don't know why. I, mean, I felt I mean, like I'd be interviewing well, anime like, people. I'd be interviewing yeah. the actors, the voice actors. You know what I'm saying? I'd be, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be out here. And you know, hey, you may hear me in a couple of animes next year. I'm just saying, I'm already hey. out here. I'm there already we out go. Here doing my thing. Out here with the cornucopia of film knowledge for all of these animes that we can go check out from all of your favorite voice actors. That is the gatekeeper they call Deuce for that. You got to go to that. I just wanted to make sure I had I had you hype as I well. I like the flair. I like yeah. the flair you gave it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, was like, I got the I got them two like perfect. I was like, yeah. I can't just leave Deuce like that. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah. So, so like I said, this is Phantom Fiction. And as y'all know, when we do Phantom Fiction, you can check out my other previous episodes, like the Marvel ones, I would DC. Today is anime. So I have had my guests write down what kind of anime character they are going to be. So we're going to find out what their names, origin is, what kind of powers do they possess, and also what anime world are they in? in along with any groups they would join and who will be their arch nemesis so if you are a fan of anime you're going to sit down and tune in because i guarantee you they have come up with some great characters and i cannot wait to dive into it so but before we do i gotta ask you know the always the always the popular question what are you currently watching anime wise um not that you enjoy that's you have a love hate relationship with right now Oh, yeah, like love, your relationship. Mm-hmm. What anime right now, currently, you got a love hate relationship with right now? I would say Demon Slayer. For me. Oh, I was going to say that. Wait, 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 wait. the same thing, it's fine. What's the, <laughs> wait, what's the hate part? I want to know y'all hate part. Okay, so hear me out. Um, I do really like Demon Slayer, it is it's nice as well. Written, it's beautiful, it's you know, very artistic. However, um, I really don't like Tanjiro like that. Um, and then the and then the characters are too cute like they look too cheaty for me to take it like seriously you know what I mean like I'm just like oh okay that was a fire move but oh he's so adorable like oh he's gonna kill them all like look at Muzan you know now the characters in, in uh, which, which art is a swordsmith uh, swordsmith art yep yeah Sourcement art, like now the um upper whatever upper they five, upper, upper five, they look crazy. They right? do look crazy. Look but when ass. um is everybody caught up? Yeah, yeah. I, I caught up. Well, you caught up. You- yeah, 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 you good. Okay, when homeboy split into he kind of he kind of fine, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't every other anime woman. <laughs> I was looking at that. Split up, I was like, oh yeah, the timeline was going crazy over them. <laughs> Bro, it was like it was like, oh my god, I yeah, said any black man. <laughs> and then there was four. I was like, oh yeah, I was like, oh yeah, they so did that. Is. But I don't want to think that. that. <laughs> I don't want to think that. Like. When I'm seeing somebody like get murked, like I just, you know, I just don't. In reality, you guys like the way villains look. You know, they look badass. They look, you know, as what they say, daddy. 
or badass, but badass. I don't want to be like, ooh, you know, you can slice me up. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> do not want that to come across my mind, and it does. Um, and I don't like that. Welcome to the anime world. <laughs> and look, I've been here for a while, and this is the first time I'm feeling these things, but that's why I have a love hate relationship with it. I just uh, too cutesy. Tanjiro is very yeah. annoying. He's very uh, just, you know, don't give up for you know, trying to save all the vim like the evil demons and he's just like they right. have a story i'm like nigga they killed your family chop his, <laughs> his head off you know, thank, god, thank god i ain't your parent but like, right. <laughs> like yo bro fuck nigga uh, on my side uh i would say uh tanjiro reminds me of uh deku um and he talks way too fucking much <laughs> did you see did you zoom on purpose Yes, I zoom in on purpose. Okay, uh, I'll do it again. Hold that on, let me. Perfect. I, I'll do it one more time. I'll do it one more time. He talks way too fucking much. He reminds me of Deku. This is hilarious. I love it. Also, yeah. when it comes to the when it comes to the anime community, the anime community, they be like, they be hyping the shit out of this show. I I didn't watch the first season because of them. I had to wait until it died down for me to watch it yes. because I'm like, wow, okay, I, I get it. It's a new anime show and all that good stuff and all that good stuff in the bag of chips. But you guys talk about it when it comes out. Talk about it after. I want to see that. People still talk about Bleach as we speak, and Bleach haven't came out yet. It's coming out, but you get what I'm saying? Like those yeah. two, that's, that's the dislike yeah. that I that I don't like because mm -hmm. you know they just. Oh my god! Did you see what Tajo Tajo's coming back? Ah! And then after that, they'd be like, well, that was it. Yeah. <laughs> right. I don't hear like, shit yeah. else afterward. Right. right. But yeah. the animation on there is beautiful. I, it I is. fucks with it. Um, there's a couple of reference that I like from it, and I want to be able to, to uh, remake that. So, mm -hmm. okay. That's um, yeah. Mine is actually going to be Black Clover. And the reason. I got a love hate relationship with Black Clover is I love Black Clover front to back, but I am not um oblivious to the fact that they steal from every popular shonen in their show. Like Black Clover is literally Naruto, my hero, One Piece, Dragon Balls. It's every anime in an anime. And usually I would hate that, but this year, man, hey. I fuck with them. Asta's my nigga. The Black Bulls. I fuck with the Black Bulls heavily. Like, mm -hmm. I just love Black Clover. So, it's the love-hate relationship because it's like, y'all ain't really doing anything original, but I love y'all what y'all doing. So, I fuck with you. You guys are underrated. It's like a fairy tale, to be honest. They do what they do, and they, they just be fucking it up. Also, the voice actors, they have two legends. Legends! As voice, act as voice Legend. actors. They have Chris... And they have Johnny. Oh, wow. cool. boom. Yeah. Damn. Yep. That's what I said, too. <clears throat> yeah. What about you, I got, Will? Uh, I got to go with Seven Deadly Sins. <laughs> <laughs> I just said that just like. <laughs> oh, God, go ahead. Go ahead. Explain. Go ahead. I, can't, I don't know what it is. Bro, it's I, can't, I, I can't stand these motherfuckers, but I love these motherfuckers. <laughs> Like every time I see Escanor, he, he he pissed me off, but I love him at the same time. I'd be like, he'd be like, I'm so sorry, Merlin. Shut the fuck up. And then when he turned, I'm like, kill that motherfucker, Escanor. Get that son of a bitch. Yes. He have he has emotions when he's a little when he's a wimp. He, I'm so sorry. And then when he be, when he becomes big, he'd be like, I don't give a shit about you, bro. <laughs> I just. I be so mad at their decision. Like I be looking at Diane. I'm like, the fairy king don't fucking deserve you. Step your dick game up, nigga. And tell her how you feel. And then I'm like, oh my god, they got together finally. Fuck yes, man. <laughs> Yo, love. I mean, season two, union four. Yeah, oh, and I was yeah. just like, and then that man, tra and then he transformed on him, and I was just like, okay, I see you, I see bro. You they, right they, now. they almost took me out when they like when the animation got fucked up. That one like arc, I, I was like. It. I said I'm not watching this shit. Oh, I did. Yeah, see that. it was. I yeah. think it was season three. Yeah, yeah. And like then laying on the bed, and he looked just like. I said, "What the <laughs> fuck is this?" I, I get lazy. Like, I get. I, like, I get credit to the animators, though. I, I get yeah. credit to them, but that part right there was just like, 
Nigga, I could go. I could go draw this shit real quick. <laughs> I ain't could draw that. Yeah, four, draw that. Four, four or five. They stepped it up, but I don't. I don't like. Oh yeah, they the back. Drama. They back. Yeah, but I don't like the style that they're using for afterwards. So the one where they focus, the movie where they focus on his son. I'm not a real fan of like the oh. animation that they use for that. Okay. Are you sure they stepped it up? And four or five. <laughs> What I okay, I need this track now. I need to get because, this camera so yeah, I can I, do I need that. What is this? Because <laughs> I did see I did see uh Meliodas go against Eskinor. And that shit was trash. <laughs> Straight trash. I wasn't talking oh about that. Hey Will, if you do not download some anime sound effects for this episode, G. Oh, you know I got to though. It's like now I gotta find all kind of fucking audio things. Like on. wind sounds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> some crying sounds now. Like oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know oh, where shit. I got this at. I'll, I'll send you out a link later in life. Thank you. Like after this. With the <laughs> after this, I'm gonna do it. Affiliated yeah. program shit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, please. But uh, but yeah, so uh let's go ahead and jump into our phantom fiction. Um, so as I told y'all, uh, I would guess including myself have come up with anime characters, and I'm sure they have given us one terrific story that we're gonna know. So the first thing that we're gonna start off with is the origin story. So I would like you to tell the origin story of your character. Um, you can start off with the name or you can give the origin story and then tell the name. It's up to you. Um, so uh, as always in this one, I always like to ask who would like to volunteer first? I can go first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. always know it's going to be Deuce, but I just, I just like, let me throw it all the way out. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm good to go first. As you can see, if you've been paying attention to the little Easter eggs, I already changed my name. Uh, that's showing up under my name. <laughs> y'all can y'all can also do that as well. <laughs> name. But oh my god! All right, this we are. Uh, let me let me let me bring you to a world that is 200 years after Katara's avatar has already you know purged the world of all the negativity. Right, 200 years we've been living in peace. And however, the powers of the world has expanded more to even more bending nations. And the most, the newest elemental bending nation, which stem from earth bending, is the metal, bend, the metal bending nation. All right. They have become so powerful that they started to see world domination in their eyes. And a young metal bender by the name of Sun Gallium starts to feel indifferent about the world domination journey that the metal nation is, is, is embarking on. So to learn how to uh, prevent this impending war and also to learn more about the world, because uh, you know, I've been, I've been confined to just metal bending. I go on a journey to go to all the other nations to learn more about what I need to know about these nations. And throughout my journey, I actually come to find out that I am going to be the next avatar. Okay. Damn, okay. Great origin story. I feel like I'm not gonna follow up. Hard. Yeah, my shit's <laughs> trash. My shit, just, I didn't be the last. my shit was pretty trash compared to that. <laughs> I'm gonna... That was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this Zoom is the best thing ever. It's hilarious. Yeah, like, let me, let me oh talk my to god. You. Let me talk to you for a second. This, this, well, fucker, why'd you do that? <laughs> Like, uh, all that shit. We did not talk yeah, about this. Yeah, like, yo, why the fuck did you do that? Why did you go crazy on this one? Dude, I thought we was having fun. We that was a crazy. plan. <laughs> what this the was, fuck? This I didn't, introduction. I, I, I didn't come here to get no full out thesis introduction break. Now I want to see the fucking show. I don't <laughs> even need to hear nothing show. else. Fuck everything else. And <laughs> is the anime? Is it going to be animated? Like. Wait till y'all hear the name. production right. company. Wait till, wait till y'all hear the name that I gave it. <laughs> oh wow! You gave it a name too. You threw it out there. You said we had to come out with a name. You did. A, did you say that? I did. did I say that? You, you said you. You said we could, but we don't have to. Oh yeah, that's what I heard. Uh, that, okay, okay. I will say, hold on, hold on. <laughs> okay. I heard a went, went in one ear, went out the other on accident on that yeah. part. I didn't. I didn't make a, a name. So. 
<laughs> it's, it's, it's all good. It's all good. That was good, though. That was good. Yeah, that was. That was a great start to that, man. Thank you for setting the bar so fucking high. All right, we, we appreciate it. Appreciate it so much. Okay, so out of out of Lexi and Pierre, which one of you would like to go next? Go I'll go. Yeah. I'll go. No, I'll go. Are you I'll sure? Yeah, I'm, I'll already get mine's over with. Damn. Well. Oh wait, my thing is still moving. Oh, let me stop it real quick. Okay, my origin story is not like his. What I thought of from the whole uh, for the whole concept is like um, this guy's an outsider. Um, he knows that he has a lot of talent, and uh, he doesn't have a group. Oh, he doesn't have a group. Sorry, my bad. He doesn't have a lot of talent. And uh, yeah, he just fucked me up. I'm not going to lie. But <laughs> one day, one day he was going to perform his talents. And he knows that he's like really good. But when that, when that happened, he hesitated. He hesitated, got scared and everything because he felt like it was just, it was too much. It was too much for him. So when that happened, everyone laughed at him. No one didn't take him serious. Everyone see him as a joke. And no one did not acknowledge him afterwards. Uh, from that day forth, he decided to focus more on himself and be in a group and become a leader and become become the person that he's supposed to become and uh, show, off, show off his talents, even though it may be too much for people. But he might as well go ahead and show it off because he didn't show it off in the beginning. So, yeah, that was my thought. Yeah, so. <laughs> that was great. That was great. Yeah, that was really good. The outsider, the outsider. That's I don't know his name yet, but his name is my name. Basically, I I like I like my name. My name is actually pretty hard. And then if it ever come in in Japanese, they'd be like Pierre or something. I don't know, but it'd be kind of hard though because you don't really hear that name. You see what I mean? Oh, for sure. You don't. You don't. Yeah. And like I said, you already set up the journey because you got to remember. Like I said, the whole thing about you know saying you got to set up that journey. So like you got mm -hmm. now you got that journey of friendship. You already in Naruto uh, territory right there. <laughs> huh? What? I only watched that one time. <laughs> <laughs> so now, hey, Naruto, Naruto, who's Naruto? Naruto, who that? Naruto. Gordon said that bullshit. I thought he was by anime. Until until I saw Creed three, and then I was like, "All right, babe, all right." Yeah, he he had to do Creed three like that because he, he had, had to do damage like control the graces. Because once he said Naruto, everybody, er, I feel like yeah. everybody was like, "What?" I watched that video. I was like, "Oh, I'm not attracted to him anymore." <laughs> no. I was like, I, "I was like, I was like, thank God you're the first black actor to do it," and I wasn't. I was like, "Damn, <laughs> thank goodness." Listen. <laughs> I was gonna. I was like, "Yo, I don't. Want, I don't want women getting turned off of me because I said that the wrong way." You uh, said Naruto. Like, said, Whoo. <laughs> Whoo. Thank gosh. All the wee bros like. Mm. I mm. I really was. <laughs> a fake fan. This is crazy. Yeah, fake fan. But no, props to him though on that movie yeah. though. Okay. okay. I watch it. I'm gonna watch it. Oh yeah. Let's see what. All right. That's it. Lexi, I see. You... <laughs> hey, yo, it's coming to streaming. It's coming to streaming. So exactly, yeah. that's what I'm waiting for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Unless I... you found a way to watch it early, <laughs> and it's on your phone. Huh? 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 What? What? Huh? Nothing. Uh -uh. All, right. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Anyway. All right. Sweet. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> or as ready as I'll ever be. Um, mm -hmm. So my character's name is Lexonia, and um, she Sound is like Kingdom from... Hearts to me. Huh? Sound like Kingdom Hearts to me. It might be. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, get to you. I'm sorry. She's from a... It kind of is. So she is from an island, mm -hmm. and um, on that island, you know, she has all of, like, her friends, and, you know, she has her life, and you know, living good or whatever. And, you know, I did kind of get some inspiration from that. Um, but her world was taken, you know, by darkness. Whatever happened, she doesn't know, you know. Um, but she ends up ending up in a uh, town. It's not the town that you're thinking, actually. Um, but she ends up living in, or ending up in a world that has uh, people who have uh, different abilities and different uh I guess like avatars, if you will, mm -hmm. that uh, have super like certain powers. 
Um, so when she ends up in that world, she gets her powers too. And you'll end up finding out what power it is she ends up with. <laughs> <laughs> I have I have the power and everything. <laughs> okay, so okay, so then we can we can we can kind of go into that and then I'll give my origin story as well. So let me ask y'all, what are your powers? What powers do you possess? And we can start off with uh, a large scene and then go go back to Deuce. Okay, so the power that I have is a ability to uh, manifest an avatar, or as you guys know, maybe from like JoJo is like a stand. Um, mm -hmm. So this one is called uh, Three Six, and it has the ability to send people to hell. Or <laughs> <laughs> well, right to the point. <laughs> um, ability to send people to hell, and um, a lot of like uh, fighting in like multiple combos. Um, and can also torture people as like a final, um, you know, finisher. So mm. that, those are her powers that she ends up manifesting. Nice. Yeah. Because I always Pierre. go to hell, so. <laughs> Pierre, what about you? <laughs> no, I'd hate to be I, yo, I would like can never want to be on your bad side. Like, no, for sure. Definitely. I send people to hell for fun no. and for free. For fun, for free. <laughs> I'm like chaos. Be like, yo, Lexi, my boss ain't shit right now for what they did. I got you. Go to hell. Like I said, don't, don't, don't get, don't get, like, don't get her the death note. Like, she's pretty much doing, like, she, she taking them for out for sure. That's why I said, don't make me a hero. <laughs> now I'm finna be like, I ain't got no boss. You trying to go lunch? <laughs> ain't nobody finna tell us what to do today. I'm finna go home. You hungry? Let's go. <laughs> you hungry? I got you. Okay, yeah. my power because um, I've been watching um, fairy tale, <laughs> <laughs> and I do like this power. It's the power of a dragon, but fire. I like that power. I like that power. That power is pretty hard, actually, to be honest. You can have fire power, and also you're a dragon too. You can trans like your body can transform, morph into a dragon, but not like. You know, like the rawr, crap, like a human dragon. Those yeah. look hard. I'm not even gonna cap. Like those look super hard. So I've I that's that's mine. But it, um, go ahead. Intelligent dragons got to be the scariest shit to ever see. Hell yeah, yeah. And um, he can absorb people's um attacks for just minimum, like minimum time. He doesn't have like a a. You know, when you absorb it, you can use everybody's powers. You cannot. It's it's only minimum time, so you have to use it wisely while you're fighting someone. Yeah. Uh, I made it kind of, I kind of, you know, made it a little. But gave, gave him a little flaw to it. I see you. Yeah, I yeah. see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, nice. Uh, Deuces, so, what about you? Mine's is simple. It's just metal, it's metal bending. Because like I said, I'm part of the metal bending nation. And that's why it's going to be like what's going to throw everything off. Because, you know, if you uh, watch Avatar, like Toph was one of the first people to do metal bending when she realized right. that the earth is like has so many minerals in it and everything that's that's uh that's metal um so you know obviously i'm i you know we stemmed from that but we just focus more on the metal part and not necessarily the earth bending um mm -hmm. so yeah we so we we're, we're dealing with that and you know as the avatar you know as i build up my powers and everything like that you start seeing what, what metal and fire mixes well with or what you know earth and you know water and metal and what that type of you know com uh combination does and everything like that so but it's, it's mainly metal bending mm. okay okay and uh ju just so we know what world are y'all in so uh lark saying what world are you current what anime world are you currently in currently in jojo's bizarre adventure so nice i can't pick okay. a certain one Okay, no, no, because so we're gonna get to that. So we're gonna get to that. Yeah. So I'm to know. Pierre, what about you? Fairy tale. <laughs> <laughs> we just want we just want to confirm. We just want to confirm for everybody. And then do to you. Uh you remember I, so I'm in the Avatar world. I'm 200 years after Katara. Got you. Mm. Got you. Okay. So now I gotta go. And um I cheated. So um I use AI to write mine. Damn, <laughs> wow. You didn't tell us we could use a cheat. <laughs> we have to use our minds. I have to deuce read that shit. I don't know. No, I came up with everything. It's just the Looking way I'm reading. GPT. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the way I'm reading. 
<laughs> I love this episode so much. <laughs> Same. As soon as you just started talking, I was like, oh, fuck this. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. That's what made me think. I was like, did he go write this in AI or something? <laughs> <laughs> A whole backstory. Y'all didn't, y'all didn't realize when y'all was cracking all those jokes how I was on mute just typing. <laughs> yeah, I was like, "Hold the fuck up!" Then it goes like being them quiet ones. <laughs> yeah. So I got all the information. They just wrote it out for me to where it sounded pretty. That was, <laughs> that was it. I was like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> okay. Oh so here, so here I go. I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna try to do the voice. All right. Good um, night. As a young boy growing up in Jajoro's island of Penguin Village, Wilmo Breeze has always been fascinated by the tales of Kai manipulation and ultra instinct. He would spend hours practicing his jump abilities and mimic abilities, dreaming one day of joining the legendary Dragon Ball Z fighters. But his fate had other plans for Wilmo. After a chance encounter with members of the notorious Red Ribbon Army, Wilmo found himself caught up in a world of danger and intrigue. With the expedited healing powers and quick wit, he managed to outsmart his enemies time and time again, rising through the ranks, becoming one of their most trusted members of the Red Ribbon Army. Despite his success, Wilmo could never shake the feeling that there was more to life than just fighting. He longed to use his skills for good to help others make it. <laughs> Keep going, though. You're killing it, though. Yes, we have <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, no, God. Yeah, I feel yeah. you. I feel yeah, keep it going. Go ahead. Keep it going. Keep Thank going. You. Keep going. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Keep it going. Go ahead. Oh God. Keep going, nigga. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> to help others to make a real difference in the world. And so, when he learned of the nefarious plans from his arch nemesis, Dr. Giro, he knew he had to act with his kind. Con- <laughs> Oh wow. I'm not I'm not gonna judge. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I'm gonna go get water while you're talking right now. <laughs> fucking asshole. I'm gonna fucking use a fucking AI. What type of thing is this? Is? Yeah, I thought we was using just brain power. That all came for my brain. That all came for my brain, okay? <laughs> they just made it sound good. That was it. Crazy. I'm over here I'm writing crazy. notes. I wrote my note. Look, I wrote my notes. I wrote Kai Manipulation down. I wrote Ultra Instinct. I wrote my name. I wrote where I was from, who my arch nemesis is, that I wanted to be in the Red Remit Army. They just made it so it didn't sound so country when I say it. <laughs> oh, damn, Will. <laughs> and I only did that because I do not have as much anime expertise as y'all do. So, damn it. I, you pulled know, the, I wrote I pulled notes the and the rest is imagination. <laughs> You, you want to know what's funny? When I saw P air on the bill, I said, all right, this nigga actually creates real life anime. So I need to make sure that I come with it. <laughs> That's crazy. Because when I seen Pierre, I was like, oh, yeah. That's the yeah, same yeah, I'm here. Yay. That, no, I felt about that like that. And with Lark say, I was like, hey, man, I'm. <laughs> I can't just say Dragon Ball Z and that'd be it. Like, I got, I, I like, yeah. yo, if I do, I got to have my details. Like, I went look for the island. I was like, yo, Penguin Village. Yo, where do I remember that from? <laughs> I went look for the island. Bro. I was like, I can't just say I shoot it. No, no, no. What are all the abilities on Dragon Ball? Oh, kind of manipulation, instinct. And I said, and I made sure I did it because I'm like, yo, I'm not a Saiyan. So I can't mimic Saiyan Kai manipulation. Yeah. So I can't, I can't do a big bang. Like, yo, I went, I went, did my research. Same. The only thing I use AI for was for them to make it sound like it wasn't. Bro, a southern I was like, talk. I was like, it sounds right, better than deuces. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> tell an AI, hey, put this, make sure it sound better than Deuces as well. <laughs> but make you know sure what? it sound better. 
I I I I I research metals. I'm like, all right, what's the strongest metal? Like gallium is the name of a metal, bro. Like that's a metal element. Like I I, I searched all that. I was like, I'm gonna do this and make sure. You know what I'm saying? Like even. Bro, even my villain, like when we get to everything, when you guys hear the whole thing, like I, I put lore to this, but it's Pierre's fault. We, like yeah. I said, it's I, y'all I fault. Y'all, y'all made us step up. Like, I yo, saw I your name. job. What we yo, do? I, I even put Breeze because I was like, yo, they had Brazier, Cooler, <laughs> yeah. Freezer. I was like, I got to do something. This is all Pierre's like, fault. Oh, like, yeah, I was like, yo, because y'all I so good. Chilling. Yo, y'all know so much anime. I was like, bro, I gotta Again, make sure, like, I got details. Give me a lot here. more credit than I deserve. I'm offended, <laughs> and I appreciate it. I mean, I appreciate it. But call I me an man, expert I, is wild. I'd be like, mm, I'll be doing <laughs> some. Yeah, yeah, some. 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 She's like, some. I, I'm what you call intermediate. Like, that's, <laughs> that's where you should put. I'm flattered, but yeah, you yeah, should I'm, put I'm me in there. Yeah, yeah. Into yeah, me. Notch down. There's, yeah. I'm humble. Yeah. That's why. <laughs> yeah, that's why I didn't pick. Look, listen here. Normally, I would have picked Dragon Ball Z, but I'm like, nah. That's the big three. Pierre ain't gonna. He ain't gonna respect if I choose a big three. I was like, <laughs> you wanna know what's funny? I was gonna pick. I was gonna pick Dragon Ball. <laughs> And, and I get and I gambled on the chance that y'all would have the that y'all would have these thoughts and wouldn't do it. I was like, so I'm gonna do it. it Ain't no, every, everybody else not gonna good do job, it. So, good job, Will. Yeah, good job. Yeah, good job. It was too basic for me. I was like, nah, we already know this this regular shit. Like, we all grew up to Dragon Ball, so I don't wanna I don't wanna go back to being like, oh yeah, I'm gonna say it and whatnot. Nah, nah. I'm gonna I'm gonna go and, somewhere else real quick. I'm gonna go and me, quick. I was fine being a basic bitch for this episode. <laughs> DBZ. I'm, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just make sure it's not evident. Like, oh yep, my I, grew, God. I was on King Kai's planet growing up. I'm like, nah, I'm finna hit y'all with the little details. Like, if you that know Jin Goro's army, the uh, uh, island, that's that's some Dragon Ball term stuff. So I was like, no, I'm gonna do my research. I'm gonna make sure okay. I'm good. Yeah, with well, AI. Oh, go ahead and yeah. finish. Though. I'm so sorry. We interrupted like three no, times. No, 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 no. You know, I, no, no, no. It, it, it was already wrapped up to the end, man. Like I, I, I fought the Red Ribbon Army, man. Defeated Doctor Jiro because he just didn't see it coming and stuff. And so, like I said, my thing is just mimicking uh, cop manipulation. So that's one of my that's my power. But again, I can only do it from a human standpoint. So like I can't do anything Saiyans can do. I can't manipulate Frieza stuff. I can only do it to a certain point. But I can do the Kamehameha. I can do that. Okay, so you're like Krillin. Just about. Just about. <laughs> Except I ain't no bitch. I ain't no bitch. And I ain't got no destructive bitch. Like, wait, 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 wait. Why Krillin get in the bitch tag? Krillin showed up. I don't, don't, every don't, like, I don't, I don't, no, I don't like how Krillin be falling when he get hit. I don't, I don't like this. <laughs> hey, he, no, he be Le- that, that's where LeBron James get that shit from. That's where he get that from. Krillin. Oh, every time oh, oh. that That's man funny, gets yeah. slapped and be down for six episodes, <laughs> Goku, Goku, you're here. Thank you. Like, yeah, save me. He just slapped you. I, I give him credit it. though. I give him credit for being there. He even got his ass dogged by uh by Gohan. He was like, I need you to give me everything you got. He's like, all right. <laughs> That's, That's it. That, Gorilla show up was, every time. But yeah, that was he shows thing. up. But that was another thing that made my character want to do that because it was like Krillin is the strongest human on earth. He is actually. I, I don't like that he's the face of us. Like, <laughs> would you like let like just come on? Like, if I'm being for real, if aliens came right now and y'all telling me the leader and the face of the person that's gonna protect us and the face they show was Krillin. How well, you technically, feeling? technically, the face is Hercule. Krillin is the actual strongest, you, but if aliens came, the world's going to point to Hercule first. Do, do, you he, see, do you see my reason now why <laughs> I want to become this person? Like, yo, look who represents us. <laughs> right. We got a fraud and a dude that if a he big fraud wants, it's, it's only Hercule. <laughs> we had either the- one I'd see, and I'd just be like, oh. right. I'm like, and then Videl could have been that, and but you know, she she got chose up, and so she gave up that life and became, you know, a house mom and stuff. But you know, ain't tripping, you know, you know, she got us. But that's what I'm doing. So that's where I am. Of course, All I'm right. in the Dragon Ball Z world, right. 
Right. And so uh, I've defeated Dr. Giro, and now it's just like, yo, man, I got I got bigger plans. So that's what my arch nemesis is going to come into. But right. now we're moving into the next thing. Since we are in our world, I want to know, though, since we know the origin story, what are you doing currently in your world, and how does it involve your arch nemesis? Okay, but before we get into I, I forgot to tell you all the name of my world. So the name of this Avatar arc is called Avatar. The Metal Nation Tyranny. No one asked for this, by the way. I want you to know. No one asked for this. This, is, this like, hey, I did not do this. This that extra credit ass nigga right there. That's what that right. was. Right. That's what that's. And Pierre are just like. <laughs> I had to throw it out there. I, I put a lot of thought in that name. All, all, all I got is previously on Dragon Ball Z. That's all <laughs> I had. What the fuck? Why? What did I do to you guys? <laughs> I'm gonna go last. Then. I'm gonna go last with what I'm doing with my with, with, in my in my. Nah, world nigga, go here. first. Nah, nah, because like, you, 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 you know, nigga, yeah, yeah, yeah. You. Go, go ahead. ahead. Go first. Yeah. I was chilling. Allium. 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 <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, um, in my world right now, I am on. Remember, I told you guys, I'm on the journey to figure out how to stop this impending war. But I, throughout my journey, I've I figure out that I'm part. I I will be the next avatar. So I'm building my group, right? And this is my art, my group, and my arch nemesis all in one that's coming, right? So my group actually consists of Zuko's great 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 grandson Zuko the third, because I gotta have a Fire Nation person with me, and then an Earthbender um, that is also with me as well. My arch nemesis actually is going to be Toph, who got resurrected by the Metal Nation Queen because she needed mm. to add lore and power to what they're doing. And because we are derivative from the Earthbender and Toph has been gone, she knows that our power came from Toph discovering that we can do metal, metal bending. So she has resurrected her so that way... Um, um, that way she can you she can harness her power and embed it within the metal uh metal bending. So I I really, I really got two villains. It's the Metal Nation Queen and Toph resurrected. Wow. Yeah, fuck you. Was- <laughs> <laughs> right, I ain't do all that. Hey, I ain't do all that. I was just chilling. I was just like <laughs> Uh, hey, remember, remember when y'all got mad at me about using AI just so I didn't sound like a brother? Remember that? Yeah, no, no. Fuck you. <laughs> That's how I feel right now. All I'm all I'm doing right now is cussing. cussing you guys in my head rage. right now. Rage. Just rage, just straight rage right now. But I'm still smiling, you know. Eternal dialogue. It's the eternal anime dialogue. Yeah. How does this motherfucker do that? Oh, that was really good. Yeah. That was, that, was, yeah that, was, that was super good. Yeah, that was great. Great job. Great job. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, I don't even know what to come up with that. I'm well, um I just said <laughs> I just said I, I form my own group. Um along my journey, I find people who are like missing their homes and the same thing mm-hmm. happened to them, swallowed by darkness, and they also have stand abilities. Um, and those people who are, are my actual friend friends. Um so fantastic Frankie. And Zeno and Philip and Dre and Lan and Crystal and you know all those good people and Ronell. Um, I would tell y'all their powers, but I ain't get that far. Um, <laughs> but how it ties into uh, my arch nemesis, uh, we have to go defeat a, a guy who's basically a combination of like uh, Master of Masters and Dio, mainly because they both you know, manipulate people into doing their bidding. And there's some like, you know, time travel shit in there as well. Um, how that gets involved, we don't know yet. Um, but yeah, we we go and we we try to find him to go whoop his ass and Damn. take everybody back to the, the original world. But do they want to go <laughs> after finding each other is the question. It's like what Dio did to uh to Joe Jonathan Joe Star back then. It was me, Dio. I'm the one that kissed your girlfriend. He was like, nah, it's me now. I'm the one that got manipulation and everything, all the powers. That's crazy. That's- it was me, Dio. It was me the whole time. Dio, man. Dio. He's the- nah, Dio's so grimy. Yeah, Dio's master of masters. So. That nigga's an asshole, bro. He really? said, you got a girlfriend? All right, bet. 
Yes, I'm now. kissing your bro now. <laughs> but I didn't even want it. Yeah, too late now. You, that was your first kiss, bitch. Right. <laughs> I was so evil. I was so, so evil. evil. So Out of evil. all the shit Dio has done, him as like a regular human, he was yeah. the worst. As just he like a human. Yeah. Like no special abilities, <clears throat> no nothing. Dickhead. Total dick. Straight dickhead. Okay. Awful. Okay, on mine. You got it. Okay. My group I don't know. <laughs> I'm actually forming a group. So, uh, Tom, you know, it takes a day at a time or months or years and stuff like that. Um, I meet people, I fight them, and then eventually we become friends. Uh, just because they understand my vision, they see what I have, and they want to help out. And uh, as well as I help them out. That's, uh, that's, the, that's the group. And then my arch nemesis is the me in the future, like some Dragon Ball Z shit. Some Dragon Ball Super shit. You know, like uh, oh, you Goku fight yourself. Black. Yeah, yeah you yep. fight yourself. It's like that and Scott Pilgrim at the same time. He is he is the better version of me that I want to reach. In order for me to do that, I have to beat him and my current state to, you know, beat him and shit like that. Which I can because the power of fucking friendship <laughs> and emotions. <laughs> because at that time, he... He lost. He lost his uh, his emotions. He just focused more into power instead of focusing what he has. So yeah, what he has actually. So yeah, that was mine. Yeah, that was my nemesis. My nemesis is uh, I don't know his name, but his I'm gonna call him Pardell. That's my nemesis. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't. Nice. Oh, yeah, bro, you got it. Great. Why? Well, he's just, he's just, he's he's just great. Hurt. He like that. He like that kid that gotta go up in class in front and do his presentation. He just because so, um, uh, this black um, person right here. This today, the one today that's we, laughing. Today we celebrate the the the, the, the life and times of the, the life and times. <laughs> Of, uh, fairy tale, <laughs> and, uh, the, um, the we're celebrating the life of times of <laughs> the fairy tale. It's okay, honey, take your time. Take your time. Sound it out. Okay. For fairy. <laughs> fairy. <laughs> fairy. Fairy. Ass, fairy ass. I mean, fairy tale. Fairy tale. Fairy, 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 fairy ass. <laughs> Fuck. Fairy tale. Okay. 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 We'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get it. Yeah. How about how about we how about we take a break? Hmm? How about okay. A break? okay. 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 And then as I'm passing, <laughs> I see just a guy that already that already set a bar. I just flick him off and call him an asshole. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> and me and Douche is in the back. Man, why she always pick the slow nigga to go read all the time? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't I mean, say that. I, mean, I would not say that. I, I, I hate going to read class with this nigga. Every time they say Pierre Showtime. Oh. That. <laughs> Remember, I'm the quiet guy in the classroom. Sorry. <laughs> 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 right. Would not. He just, he just walk up and look at me with a stern look and then just run off in the Rudo style. Rudo style. <laughs> Wait, hold up. Hold up. Remember. Remember this. I am the quiet guy. I am the quiet guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Nah. Y'all quit pissing him off. Relax. <laughs> I come back with a sword. <laughs> with a pocket sword. Like, where the fuck you get a sword from? Where the fuck you get a sword from? Real? You know that we, matter of fact, we we start in Pierre's uh, villain arc. <laughs> right? This is his villain arc. That's how it all began. <laughs> it started one one book report. <laughs> That's um, uh, so mine currently, um, I've uh, just finished participating in the world tournament. Um, mm -hmm. I did not, I did not win by choice. Mm -hmm. Um, I definitely took the money from from her <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, I'll take all that. I'll take Eesh. all that. Uh, cause where not? Cause where I'm from, like basically, uh, it, on the island, like you know, Red Ribbon Army kind of like really messed it up, like going to war with them and stuff like that. And so one of the biggest things I wanted to do was like give back to the island where I'm from, and especially like Penguin Village. And so it gets invaded 
by uh Frieza's people. And so they try to uh take mine, and I'm just like, no, like you're not taking this island. And so we come to a truce, and it's like, yo, I'll join you if you do not take this planet. And you allow me to bring resources back here, but I'm only bringing it back from my island. So I wind up joining the Ginyu Force, and so and then, uh, <laughs> yeah. And I don't like these motherfuckers at all. Like I cannot stand these dancing motherfuckers at all. But you start to understand the bond that they have, and they really like got each other's back and stuff like that. And so that makes me like they start training me more and stuff like that, getting my body more equipped for like outside galactic uh, battles, which of course just makes me stronger. It starts making me like understand how to use my uh, kind manipulation a little bit uh, better and my mimic abilities better. Mm -hmm. And so uh, my arch nemesis is actually uh, Dr. Leechy's supercomputer. So, um, Ooh. someone stole it and they have it hidden some like no one knows where it's at but what they're doing is he has this uh clan called the ghost warriors so he keeps recreating like all of these uh old villains that we have to keep going across the galaxy to fight so you got to fight folks like frieza he'll bring back like cooler lord slug and like turles and they're all one group and so we got to go fight them as a ginyu force so that's what's going currently on in my stuff hmm. okay so i gotta know what is your pose? Oh, uh, <laughs> 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 so for some reason, they was just like, I'm the perfect size to be in the middle, and so they called it the rock power pose, and they make me stand like this. <laughs> It'll be like this. Raccoon is on this side. Merlin is over here. And then Jace is right here. And then Ginyu is right here. And they're just like, I'm like I don't want to do this. I like, really I don't. Go fish. I just like, yo, why? I don't want to do this. Can I just stay on the side while y'all take this stupid ass picture? They're like, no. Yo. All right, so to any to anybody that's watching that is an artist, I need you to draw this, digitally create this. I need Will in that pose with the Ginyu Force. No, same. That would oh, be my. fire. Like, yo, it, it's just, it, I hate it. I hate it so much. I can't, I just, don't get me wrong. They, we developed this bond as brothers. Don't get me wrong. It's just like, yo, I would, I would ride for these guys and these guys would really ride for me. But it's like, just some of the stuff they be doing. I'm just like, <laughs> Just something about them. <laughs> like, why? <laughs> like, y'all one of the most crazy, like, y'all one of the most deadliest forces out here. Like, people are legit scared of y'all. And then I got to tell them how y'all just be sitting here flexing and dancing and stuff like that before we go to a battle. Like, I don't I don't know how to feel about it. People this. forget how deadly getting you force is because, oh, yeah. because Vegeta made, made easy work of them. He's like, hey, nigga, that's a saying. Who, who yeah. was on the brink of? <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm right. I'm right in the middle. I'm right there. Now, just picture me right there in the middle. In that in that rock pose, like they call it. He paused. He, he dropped the video. He was like, "Yep, oh fucking my just, god!" Yeah. Like just that, that, that's how they be having me. Just move move Jace over a little bit, and I'm right there in the middle. Uh, rock literally. pose out. That is hilarious. That as is hell. funny. You see how they do me? But hey, I get to learn about resources from other planets, come back home to Earth, bring them to my island where we didn't help rebuild it. They've been able to be real self-sustaining and stuff like that. And Penguin Village is popping. You know, we about to be Penguin Town soon. You know what I'm saying? Oh God. <laughs> that is hilarious as hell. Yeah, so that that's that that's mine. That's mine right there. That's what I'm currently doing. Um, And that's my group that I would join. All right, solid love for the Gen Force. Nice. You, you don't know. hear a lot. You don't hear that a lot. Nah, nah, not at all, not at all. And I didn't want to go too big about you know, like oh, freezes my arch and uh, nemesis and stuff. Right. Like, nah, the supercomputer could do a lot. And it's like you know, of course, they're still like ghosts, so they're not as powerful as the people. But it ain't like it, they they easy to defeat. They're not. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just like that's our battles. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Man. So I think this was good. I think this yeah, was really fine. good. Yeah. yeah, this was good. You did great. Go team. Yes. Yeah, go team. Yeah, get yours. Yes. I don't know how we supposed to rock do that. pose. Rock pose. Nigga, I feel we like I'm just skydiving out. Yeah, we I feel like I'm just skydiving right now. You gotta spread, yeah, you gotta, you gotta put your legs out. You gotta put your legs out. Oh, this don't yeah. feel right. <laughs> I see that's what that's that, that, 
Now stand up and do it and watch how I'm telling you. That's why I don't like taking them pictures with them. I I'm I oh, cannot stand right up. Now. I am button my jeans. I'm comfortable. Come back, please. Where you hey. going? Right Trent, there you go. There you go. See, dude, that, that's that's how they be happening. Now look, let me pull a picture up again. Let me pull a picture. Right. Up. Wait. <laughs> now, now watch. Watch. That's this way you go. This is where you go, Deuce. Right, right in the middle. Right in the middle. <laughs> there you go. And then you got to spread the legs out just a little bit more. My they legs gotta, are spread. They got to be lined up with your elbows. They got to be lined Your feet got to be lined up with your elbow. There you go. And then you got to stretch out. And you got to ball your fists up. That's what's going to give you balance. See, you a little bit more balance now. Damn, that's the pose. He made me right. <laughs> he made yeah. me right. This is great. Dope. <laughs> then you then you didn't fail me on the polls. I just don't like it. Oh, I just I just almost split my nuts. <laughs> it's fair, like you feel, fair. It's like you feel strong but vulnerable at the vulnerable. same time. Because you just oh, you wide open for like you open for open chest. You open for uh for for uh for the for the white folks that be doing the nut tap. Like you just open for any. Just anything. Oh, but oh, Burleson nut sacked me a couple of times, and then I. Was, <laughs> oh my god! Anyone should be I, touching you guys' nuts without consent. Mm -mm. And that's when he caught that swift uppercut. Mm -hmm. Yep. He, he was the first one I did the special beam cannon on. They actually was able <laughs> special to special beam cannon. Fucker, <laughs> <laughs> do the uh, yeah, the the the, the gum gum <laughs> fist out. The gum gum fist, but with middle fingers, just gum. gum. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that could be actually a video. Yep. There you go. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Write that down. Write in the notes. Right there. Yep. See, but man, I think that I think that was great, ladies and gentlemen. I think that's a yeah. great way for us to end this episode. We all had some great anime origin stories, powers, names, the worlds that we're in. Um, and just like with every fandom fiction, uh, you kind of leave a little pissed off because you don't have nowhere to go see these people that they've just described and yep. get get mad when you see it that they're not in that anime. And it's like, <laughs> when they gonna be in it? It's like, yep. sorry. <laughs> So hopefully soon, ho hopefully somebody's going to see this that's a great fan and they're going to send it over to JoJo's, they're going to send it over to Fairy Tale, send it over to Avatar. Um, I don't know who does Dragon Ball Z, uh, so I don't, you know, just, you can make this like m manga. You ain't got to put me in the show. Just make mine like a manga series. <laughs> hey, the manga is cooking right now, too. Manga yeah, yeah, yeah. Whole I forgot and we see, exactly yeah, and we see where we go from there. Like, if you know, I get added, I get added, and stuff. You know, I'm kind of like a prequel, like Mandalorian. You know, mm -hmm. I'm in that kind of range. So, yeah. <laughs> so, but before we get out of here, I always like to make sure that my special guests get a chance to let people know where to follow them, where to support, and if they have anything coming up. We're gonna start with Larcine. We're gonna move to Pierre, and then we're gonna uh, end off with Deuce. And I will close this thing on out. Uh, Lexonia, you are up. Hello, everyone. Um, so I go by Larcine. Uh, my Instagram and my Twitter is gonna be at underscore Larcine. My Twitch is Lex Larcine. Um, I will let you know whenever I stream. I don't have a schedule. Um, and I will be at DreamCon, so I will be seeing y'all there. Yeah. All right. <laughs> my name is Pierre. Goddamn. <laughs> I'm known as a god of anime, G-A-W-D, not G-O-D. I respect God. Anyways. Um, yes. Uh, the upcoming projects I'm working on. <laughs> I'm working on a Yu Yu Hakusho video for Dream. Hey. 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 Yes, sir. But, 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 but. It's going to be Tagoro versus Yusuke. Actually, Tagoro Brothers versus Yusuke and Kuwabara. It's going to be the first part. I was thinking about doing a, you know, doing the uh, the dark tournament, but I felt like that was way too long. So I wanted to make it like, you know, let's get the part one in there real quick before we go to part two. So Tagoro Brothers versus Yusuke and uh, Kurama. Right now, I'm working with a um, with a choreo choreographer or a choreo uh fighter um he's gonna be played as Togoro, and we're just gonna be doing a whole bunch of fighting 
you know how it is. A little bit of dialogue, but a lot of fighting. We're going to have fun doing it and stuff like that. You're going to see spirit guns, probably some other stuff in there. Um, and I'm going to premiere it at DreamCon, which is in the next... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. 77 days. Oh, Damn. okay. Oh, you got a countdown? I've been having a countdown since New Year's. <laughs> so, Golly. Yeah. Yes, I know. We're so close to hit two months. So uh, I will be working on that soon. And uh, yeah, you guys going to see me at DreamCon performing. And uh, yeah, and have a good time. And also, um, social media. PR Steps. I twitch sometimes. Um, I don't have a schedule. I need to have a schedule or just get on whenever. But yeah, that's about it. Yeah, that's me. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. It's uh young underscore deuces, man. Follow me everywhere. Um, you know, we was talking about I was telling y'all about my concept trailer where I had Pierre on there. Um, if you like to see that concept trailer and learn more about the Black Geek documentary, go to the blackgeekdocumentary.com. It is a self-funded, crowdfunded um right now documentary that me and Geek Set is working on, but we are actively pitching it. So, you know, who knows where it'll land, but it is our love letter to the culture, for the culture, talking about being a black geek and dispelling the um, what the media portrays us as. So, you know, as much as we love Steve Urkel, as you can see, watching this content with Will or watching Pierre's stuff or anything like Sony is part of, we are really not like Steve Urkel. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? We want to show the different facets of that. So make sure you uh, check that out. And then also twitch.tv backslash geek set. Geek set Sundays is coming back. So on Sundays, we just kind of just play 24 seven past episodes, interviews, podcasts, just anything from the geek set channel. We play that on a 24 seven loop. So if you need some background music, if you need something to put on, if you just want to check out, you know, saying some blurs, doing some dope stuff, Follow us on Twitch, man, and check us out. And we also game there. Like I said, it's not just the replay of videos. We do game. We play abundance of game from Xbox to PlayStation. We even got some classic games we're going to start throwing in. Nintendo 64, Sega Genesis, and the Super Nintendo, all that. So check us out. That sounds fun. <clears throat> Yes, indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, too, you know, you can always follow me on socials and Twitch. Everything is Will Farrow, P-H-A-R-A-O-H. -H. Uh, make sure you also uh, support the chant, my YouTube channel, support this show straight out of a comic book, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and then leave in the comments below which was your favorite anime character that you heard today. Sometimes we jump into the chat, start a whole new type of conversation so you never know, but just make sure you keep continuing to support so I can have a platform on for all these amazing folks who are into the blur culture continue to come be themselves and not feel like they're having to be put inside a box fuck that box yeah all right fuck that box, <laughs> right, that fuck that box. <laughs> exactly as as we talk from inside a box <laughs> right <laughs> fuck this box i'm out not the shit <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen thank you for checking this out <laughs> and we will catch you next time y'all take it easy <laughs>